On to the final champion award for red wine. The finalists here are the Argentinian Red Trophy, Zucchini, Zucchini, Zucardi Mountain Vineyards Malbec, 2013, by Bonega Zucardi Vaige do Ico. Australian Red Trophy, Nine Popes, 2014, by Charlie Melton. Charles Melton. Chilean Red Trophy, Amina Sira, 2015, by Garfa Silva. French Red Trophy, Mercure Premier Cru, Les Puyers, 2015, by Chateau de Santenay. Georgian Red Trophy, Vismino Gran Separavi, 2014, by Georgian Wine and Spirits Company. Greek Red Trophy, Ayoyitiko Zacharias, 2016, by Zacharias Wines, Inotechniki. Italian Red Trophy, Brunello di Montalcino Riserva, 2011, by Piccini. Macedonian Red Trophy, Vranet Special Selection, 2015, by Tickfest Winery. New Zealand Red Trophy, Rod McDonald Wines, Quarter Acre Syrah, 2015, by Rod McDonald Wines. Portuguese Red Trophy, Crooked Vines, 2014, by Secret Spot Wines. South African Red Trophy, Paul Kluver, Seven Flags Pinot Noir, 2015, by Paul Kluver Wines. And the Spanish Red Trophy, Secastia, 2012, by Gonzalez Bias. Finally, the Swiss Red Trophy. No, not finally. Claude La Georges Jean Cru Yvonne, 2014, by Charles Rollas Amel Terre de Vin. And finally, the Turkish Red Trophy, DLC Urkuzguzu, 2015, by Doluja Bacilik Ve Sarapcilik. Marcus. All right. The IWC Champion Red Wine winner 2017 is. Rod McDonald Wines, Quarter Acre Syrah, 2015. Champion Red. I mean, this is the big one, isn't it, really? And um, when I remember the new, uh, the kind of like the version 2.0 of fine red wines from North Ireland, Australia, yeah. uh, New Zealand, forgive me, um, it was McDonald Cabernet that really introduced me to that in odd bits. So, what does it mean for your Syrah to win this trophy, Rod? Oh, mate, it's very exciting. Uh, I've got to say that, that, that I wish I could say it was my grandfather or my great grandfather. No relation. But, uh, but yeah, no, we're delighted, well, obviously. Say it was you. Yeah. <laughs> it's all me, it's all me. No, it, you know, it's, uh, it's incredibly uh, exciting and, um, and it shines a light on Hawke's Bay, which is great. You know, we, we, uh, we, it, it's a really small industry, everyone's trying really hard and we know we've got something special, so. And I know that there's not much syrup grown in New Zealand, or not even in Hawke's Bay, but those little sites are, are so special. Everyone knows, everyone knew 20 years ago that the first few wines to come out of that site were world-class Syrah. Yeah. Where do you think it's going to go from here? Mate, the, the, you know, when, when they launched Gimlet Gravels back in about 2002, Oz and Tim both came out. Were you there? They, they stood up in a room full of tasting. It was a, a tasting we tasted through Bordeaux, Cabernet, Merlot, all that sort of stuff. They stood up at the end and say, look, that's all great. They're world class. It's fantastic. But you Syrah is something special. Absolutely. And so uh, what we've done since is we've started to, to go into new little pieces of Hawke's Bay that, that, do, you know, that, that can do it differently and do it well. So limestone slopes, old riverbeds, uh, you know, and, and so we haven't really scratched the surface of what we can do. I was out there in 2006 at the Syria Symposium at uh, Trinity Hill. I remember understanding Grey Wacky for the first time, training some of the, the pioneers like La Colina, um, and looking at the homage for the first time and seeing what all you guys were starting to create. And uh, we were tasting sand coat rotis from Gilbarge, from Champagne. You were killing it. You were absolutely killing it. And I think that the world's greatest New Zealand, sorry, the world's greatest New World, Sarah, comes from Hawkes Bay, New Zealand, in my opinion. Well, we think so, obviously, mate. But, thank you. <laughs>